Namaskar. Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host Sri Ayer. A lot going to be happening this coming week, especially starting with the budget presentation. And to talk about all that and much more, let's welcome Sri Delhi R. Rajagopalan. Rajagopalan ji, Namaskaram and welcome to P Guru's channel. Na namaskaram sir, Namaskaram sir. <laughs> uh, Rajagopalan ji, my first big doubt. Why do they make this halwa in the film department, ah. sir? <laughs> Halwa ceremony. Uh, yeah, namaskaram, that, and, uh, namaskaram and also salutations to all P Guru viewers and to CIR. Halwa ceremony is a very important occasion because from November 15th onwards, Mr. Iyer, previous year, November 2022, every year November is a crucial month for Union Finance Ministry. From November to February, they are locked in. They, they get, uh, you know, quarantined. These, there are 15 to 20 officials who are very much, you know, uh, like a Corona blue dress as they th put the thermal wear. These uh, 15 officers are locked up in a room. And once the finance minister reaches that uh, printing press basement of the North Block, suppose if you imagine the South Block and North Block and below the you know basement uh, of North Block finance ministry, there is a printing press, which is very sophisticated. Uh, 10 years before the printing press was in Minto Road, that is 10 kilometers away from North Block. Later, the leakages and started and also some sort of C pages of the budget. So then government decided to have the printing press below the you know North Block itself. That is why whenever the room is open for uh, Union Finance Minister to come in and to greet that 15 officers who work round the clock, 24 into 7 into you know uh, 24 into seven when they meet the uh, finance minister she wants to greet the employees with the suite the halwa ceremony was in existence for the last 10 to 15 years previously they used to serve laddu and sweets but typical of that when the finance minister enters the north block basement where the union budget is printed the skip secrecy is kept she wants to enthuse and cheer up the you know employees that is why the salwa ceremony she you know cooks this she prepares the halwa she is the cuisine master that day and you know she serves it she spends some 10 to 15 minutes and goes around the printing press where the composition is taking place where that you know punching is taking place like that that is why my understanding is that the budget ceremony especially the halwa ceremony is important now i am coming to the nitty gritty of it sir before you go <laughs> i have one small observation to make giving someone halwa in tamil nadu is considered not a very good thing sir yes 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 <laughs> but what to do in tamil nadu it is a slang language but in not everything is very upside down <laughs> upside down <laughs> now, now coming to the crux of the you know budget february 1st that is in another two or three days India is going to see the budget and budget is into number crunching. You can say GDP, FDI, FFI, FI, PLI. These are all certain jargons which, you know, I don't want to confuse our uh, viewers. India today is the fifth largest economy. It is likely to overtake Germany and Japan and come you know, nearer to the third largest economy in this decade. And that is in 2025, 2026, like that. However, India ranks 142 out of 197 countries on per capita income. As you know very well, Dr. Rangarajan, the governor of uh, uh, Reserve Bank and also an economist mentioned recently, India has no choice but to grow fast given the present level of per capita income. India is such a, you know, in eight years, Mr. Narendra Modi made India into a world economy, Mr. Guru. The role of many state governments is equally or more important in raising growth and jobs. In, when you split the budget into these three or four points, India has a major advantage of the democratic dividend, demographic dividend rather, and apart from raising productivity and boosting private investment, education and skill development call a special attention, a special mention rather. Another long-term challenge is the structural transformation. 
India's agriculture has to be transformed and farm incomes raised. Labor incentive manufacturing is considered to be the solution for structural transformation. Labor absorbers absorb uh, how to absorb them and also to use them in exports. There are certain apprehensions regarding the manufacturing sector. There is a scope for expansion of manufacturing, including the MSME sector. These are all certain inner you know, jargons which I don't want to get into that, sir. Though I explained it. In simple nutshell, Nirmala Sitaraman has you know managed for the last eight years to come with a red bag. If you remember, the suitcase is gone. Now the red bag has come. Halwa, briefcase, and other union-related you know, factual things are. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman, when she presents the budget, there is a you know a, a, a plum, a, a, a credit to her uh, three months hard work. How the budget prepared is manu made, and how the speech is uh, you know prepared. These are all certain you know nuances. The Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, takes personal interest in the budget speech. Sir. At times, uh, three or four times, the rehearsal is taking place. And the rehearsal is very, very important from my understanding, sir. Because Mr. Narendra Modi, having, you know, uh, toured all over the world, knows the, you know, economy and the economic situations prevailing in the world capitals. And also interacting with the chief ministers and governors and finance ministers, she understands the Indian economy very well. 13 years of his chief ministerial position in Gujarat, gave him a, a, a robust strength to understand the national economy. So therefore, coming to the nitty gritty of it, the part A, part B, there are two parts of Union Finance Minister's speech. Part A is only the speech, part B is taxation proposals. Now, part A is printed, part B is digitized. With uh, Narendra Modi coming into uh, the Prime Minister's position from 2014, Gradually, the budget presentation has become very eased out. Earlier, they used to speak for 120 minutes, 180 minutes, 110 minutes, like that. Now, Mr. Narendra Modi has, you know, ensured that railway budget is also merged with the general budget. It's all certain, you know, far-reaching decisions Mr. Narendra Modi has taken. Nirmala Sitaraman and his team of officials have given a full elbow to Mr. Narendra Modi's, uh, you know, bearing the economy and the bearing the uh, infrastructure things. 2023 union budget is going to be a middle class budget. 2023, 2023 union budget is going to cheer up the uh, middle class and the laborers. My understanding is it's going to be a election oriented budget, a smooth and uh, nice budget, sir. Thank you, Rajagopalanji. Uh, the next topic we are talking about is the UN Security Council. Uh, his, this, the chief of UN Security Council is going to be in India. Uh, Rajagopalanji, the Security Council chief is in India. Is that Does it mean that there may be some good news for India? Of course, of course. The, the presence of uh, Korosi, the UN General Assembly Security Council agency, is arriving on a three-day visit to India during which he is expected to discuss with his Indian interlocutors ways to deal with various challenges facing the globe, including Indochina, Indo-Pakistan, Indo-Sri Lanka, Indo-Bangladesh, Indo-Nepal. Nepal is the one which is giving the government of India a major headache. And also Pakistan, the crumbling Pakistan. My understanding is, I don't know how to pronounce the, the United Nations General Assembly uh, President's name is Kasba Krosi. It will be Croce's first bilateral visit to any country since he assumed UNGCA presidentship in 2022 September. The Ministry of External Affairs, when they announced the trip, Croce is scheduled to witness meeting retreat today. As we record this in the morning of uh, 29th of uh, January, Sunday, today evening, Mr. You know, Croce will attend the function. It's going to be a historic one. 3,500 drones will form Indian sky behind the Rashtrapati Bhavan. The viewers, as per Indian time, 6 p.m., you must switch on to YouTube or to television sets 
or after one or two days also you can still visit youtube to witness this uh, gigantic work of uh, drdo and ministry of uh, electronics so therefore my understanding is the visit of the un secretary uh, no un united nations general assembly president Kurosi's visit India is an opportunity to exchange views on global challenges that United Nations is currently seized with. That is what the External Affairs Ministry statement mentioned. And day before yesterday, the Egypt president was here. They signed a lot of memorandum. And especially after certain setbacks in India, the Pakistan and also United Arab Emirates uh, indulgence in oil prices the conversation between Indian side and the Egyptian side were too useful. Because why I am describing this, the viewers in US, UK, Australia and the other parts of Singapore, they can understand what the seriousness of uh, government of India's uh, attention towards the visiting dignitaries, sir. Thank you so much, uh, Rajagopalanji. One question here is, uh, you said UN General Assembly also. So there is there is the UN Security Council chief yes, and yes, yes, yes. the UN General Assembly also has come. So two different. And, and, and you know, you may remember in the month of November, the UN Security Council's, you know, 11 member group visited Mumbai where that, you know, uh, Taj Hotel was attacked by two uh, Pakistanis. So they went to that place, play street for the departed souls. And many, many interesting things are happening because India was, till recently, the UN Security Council's presidentship we held. So, Mr. Narendra Modi addressed online also last year. This year, as he was demitting office, Dr. Jay Shankar went to UN and uh, you know, addressed the nation so in the United Nations General Assembly. So, 2023 is going to be a year of India. 2023 is a Vishwaguru India. That is why a lot of international travels are taking place. By end of September 2023, I am very happy to say, Mr. Iyer, 150 heads and uh, heads of government, heads of uh, states are going to visit India for the G20 and also Shanghai Cooperation Organization meeting. Pakistan President is all, Pre Prime Minister is also invited for that in July in Goa. So things are folding up in India. India is looking for a bright future of 2023, sir. Uh, Rajagopalanji, uh, near your home, in fact, in your city of Delhi, the Aam Admi Party has still not <laughs> chosen a mayor. What is going on, sir? No, the New Delhi Municipal Corporation, Delhi Municipal Corporation are two entities. One is New Delhi Municipal Corporation is NDMC, they say, that is administered by the Union Home Ministry. Uh, Delhi Municipal Corporation of Delhi, MCD, they were earlier four MCD, South, North, East, West. They merged it into one. The elections were held. 250 councillors were elected. The interesting aspect for, uh, you know, understanding the Delhi Municipal Act is very cumbersome, very detailed one. Because since it is a corporation, civic elections, governor, lieutenant governor can appoint some 10 outsiders those who are in any uh, specialized in the fields, social worker, doctors, chartered accountants, like that. So 250 plus 10, 20, 260. There are seven MLAs and 70 M, sorry, seven MPs, 70 MLAs. Out of that, 14 MLAs are selected by the chief minister. So it's going to be a combination of MLAs, MPs, councillors and also appointed by the governor. So it, it has taken place. But suddenly what BJP done, BJP has got 104 out of 250, whereas uh, 138 or 139 the Ahmadmi Bharti got, there is an apprehension. The mayor election should have been over 15 days ago. That did not happen. There was a pandemonium in the council uh, uh, where the meeting took place in Delhi, town hall, they say. But my understanding is Arvind K. Jirwal is a little scared. Suppose if he elects a mayor, 
because bjp is having a very neck to neck uh, electorate uh, winners there are some 20 to 25 councillors of aam aadmi party those who are going to desert mr uh, arvind kejriwal and join bjp or join uh, uh, other party or stay neutral the anti defection law is not applicable for municipal corporation of delhi sir so therefore it is going to be iram gayaram horse trading uh, elephant trading billy trading cat trading bull of buffalo tra- <laughs> the trading will start that is why apprehension of mr arvind kejriwal he is not allowing the uh, mayor election bjp is very much happy with this situation because two months have passed three months have passed there is no mayor what well, then the electorates are duped the electorates are cheated after arvin kejriwal you know drama of going to gujarat varanasi himachal pradesh though they captured punjab but they were restrained in gujarat to give a befitting you know political challenge amit shah ordered the municipal corporation election to be synchronizing gujarat polling dates so therefore mr arvin kejriwal concentrated on gujarat uh, delhi not left uh, gujarat therefore he got a, a decimated in uh, aam aadmi party decimated in gujarat things of politics now bjp is also doing politics because they are masters of political you know maneuverability aam aadmi party is squeezed now 2024 is not that easy for mr arvind kejriwal sir that is why mayor election is delayed there are three aspects one gujarat chief, uh, sorry delhi chief minister punjab chief minister now they want to brandish delhi mayor but that is happening big question mark that is how i could narrate my uh, uh, knowings to uh, p guru viewers sir thank you very much sir and viewers now we are going to share some gossip going around the capital <laughs> political grape wine gossip is a good <laughs> oh, oh. word sir grape wine okay okay which, grape which, wine tea leaves a birdie g- birdie came and whispered in rajagopalan ji's ear yes yes, yes. Uh, yeah, just now it's whispering, was whispering sir yeah. that is now just now it is whispering sir three or four interesting things because uh, yes. my understanding of uh, political narration is there is nothing without gossip or crepe wine or hot masala tea to go with uh, in the chill winter in delhi you take tea and also a bread pakoda with you the truck drivers and also dabas in new delhi or filled with a lot of you know veg non vegetarian hot stuffs hot chips the first uh, interesting crepe wine is which our readers delhi crepe wines as i would uh, cap, uh, you know title it ram and the temple that ling that that is you know the saligram of ram temple lala ram in muktinath kantaki river there is a river in nepal where the saligrams are you know uh, daily it comes like a black stones you know as known as saligram shila from kali kantaki river in nepal and that is reaching ayodhya next month for carving lord rama's idol in inner sanctuary of ram mandir which is being built in the city of hindus believe the but place of hero ramayana but that is rama and second thing saligram stones found in kali kentucky river basin near muktinath where i have visited muktinath from pokhara you have to travel by an you know uh, uh, aircraft very very smaller aircraft in the area of mountainous nepal and that is considered uh, the muktinath is considered to be the but place of lord vishnu and considered very important it's one of the 108 uh, uh, you know sacred places of vishnu temples ram is believed to be the incarnation of vishnu that is why that muktinath they say from muktinath the river the uh, saligram has been taken out very recently uh, the crepe wine here which i would like to share with p guru viewers those who are in us australia and uh, US, uk singapore any part of the world the delegation of vishwa hindu parishad has reached nepal last week they took charge of uh, the saligram shila the former deputy prime minister of nepal bimalendra nidhi 
is expected to accompany the delegation which is coming to Gorakhpur on February 1st, the day of uh, uh, union budget presentation. It is going to synchronize with that. Yogi Adityanath will receive that uh, stone saligram and that is going to be the main deity uh, of uh, Lord Ram Purushottam, La Lord Ram in Ayodhya. That is crepe wine 1, sir. Crepe wine 2, Rahul Gandhi's visit to Jammu Kashmir, culminating his 135, 140 days of uh, visit, uh, Padayatra, Bharat Jodo Yatra, that is going to end in uh, uh, Jammu Kashmir tomorrow. Tomorrow is the meeting. All parties are uh, participating, 23 parties. But actually 18 are coming, sir, not the other five, Dimiki Devya. <laughs> one is one is JDU. JDU puss so yeah. JD, mm. Like you know, cooker, if you put uh, you know uh, rice or anything in the cooker, when it uh, oozes out the uh, you know uh, steam, it comes with a sound of puss. JDU puss so yeah. Who else is not showing up? Sir, who no. else is not showing up? Then the more Congress. Why is Jagan Reddy Congress? They are not coming. DMK is not represented by Mr. Stalin, but is represented by Tiruchi Shiva, member of parliament. So things are not that good for Congress. And the Cray Point bus, political bus in Delhi is that Rahul Gandhi is going to present a report about his Padayatra to, uh, to parliament, as if he is the prime minister and the government. He is going to present Jai a Jairam Ramesh is hard at work. Jairam Ramesh is hard at work and he has drafted, it is 18, 20 pages. Whether the BJP MPs will allow that statement to be read or not, it is going to be another Rafael type of report. That is what they say, sir. Third, third grapevine is Captain Amarinder Singh, the Punjab Chief Minister, who was wanting to get the Congress back to power in 2020 and 2021. Like in 2013, how Rai Reddy government was again coming to power and also ensuring 2014 will be Congress, but Sonia Gandhi bifurcated and killed the goose, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. 42 MPs, sir, can you believe? 2004 and 2009 gave Congress 42, a Laddu type in one hand, but Congress killed that golden uh, goose. Similarly, Rahul Gandhi finished this Amarinder Singh, Captain Amarinder Singh. He could not return to power and Congress, Navjot Singh Sindhu was to be protected, uh, projected as chief minister, but he went to jail. Tomorrow he is going to be released after his you know, one and a half years of term and that they reduced it. Now the real gossip political circuit crepe wine is Captain Amarinder Singh is going to be the governor of Maharashtra, but Captain Amarinder Singh says, Mujhe to Himachal Pradesh de do. Hmm. Why? He will ensure that Himachal Pradesh is toppled in one, two months time. By April, the Himachal Pradesh government would have won, sir. The Sukhinder Sukku is facing immense internal crisis, internal party crisis. Amarinda Singh's presence in Shimla will induce further and he will do all sorts of, you know, uh, I can't say a rubbish word, fingering, but he will do politicking. So Maharashtra well, or Himachal Pradesh, we have to wait and watch. The other crepe wine is Mr. R. N. Ravi stays as Tamil Nadu government governor. He continues. He is not going to be disturbed. Tamil say Saundarajan is not going to be disturbed. So these are all certain things that are happening, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Rajagopalanji. We will go back and see how many of your predictions came true. And many of and them did not course. come true. I am accepting that. These are all certain things which I hear. Because yes, yes, politics yes. is full of speculation, sir. For our viewers, yes, I yes. should clarify that. There is a set of, you know, political crepe wine and, you know, that is coming, say, making rounds in Delhi. Delhi is full of, you know, gossips and crepe wines and speculations, buzz, etc. Whether it is fructifies or fruitful or not, we do not know. These are all things which I heard. Another very interesting thing, sir, which I heard, you know, very, very uh, interesting thing. Tamil Nadu uh, ADMK split. This uh, Uddhav Thakre, Ekna Shinde split, Nitish Kumar and uh, Upendra Kushwaha split, 
These small certain splits make Mr. Narendra Modi to feel happy in 2024. Despite BBC's negative propaganda and, you know, Congress negative propaganda, Bharat Todo Yatra, these are all certain things. But many political surveys conducted by private television institutions with the private, you know, uh, companies, uh, those who are in the cephologies, they have predicted Narendra Modi, India Today, particularly I should take the name of a popular television channel India Today TV, has projected 284 for BJP in 2024. What does it indicate? So therefore, the splits of Nitish Kumar, EPS, OPS, Udav Thakre, Ekna Shinde will result in Narendra Modi returning to power in 2023-4 and it's a hat-trick for Modi, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Rajgopalanji. And uh, may your uh, prediction come true. India is going through a very nazuk sthiti and he can't afford to have anybody else. Uh, I'm sure, I mean, many of you may not agree with me. At least I think that uh, the Bharti Janta Party is India's best bet at this point of time. You know, we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. Thank you once again, uh, Rajagopalanji. And viewers, please that. like, sh please like, share and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to click on the bell button for notification. We continue to see only 60% subscriber view. 40% of you who are coming and watching our videos are still not subscribing. May we request you to do subscribe. Thank you very much, sir. Namaskar. Namaskar.